Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plan Obsessed, and today is moving day for the Titans. I think they have exhausted their bedding, so I have swapped out the pans, left a little bit of their old bedding in here, and then put in some of my pre-composted paper bedding, junk mail, and boxes bedding. And today I'm going, I picked out all of the Titans, gave them their little blankies left over, and then I'm going to put them into their new home. Partially doing this because the breading looked like it was time, and then I also did find, um, a dead worm, which I was concerned was due to the bedding being exhausted or a buildup of waste products. Not sure, but it was the outside bedding where there was quite a bit of outside critters, if you will, more so than in my paper bins. So what I'm doing is I'm going to alleviate that problem, switch them over to paper bedding and let them snuggle in. All right, Titans. Got your new apartment? As you were. We'll check on them in another week. I'm not going to feed them. I'm just going to let them settle in. They've got their old bedding to hang out in until their new bedding becomes likable to them. But other than that, I'm just going to let them settle in and be quiet. It's been a week in their new bedding. And I'm going to feed them now that they're settled in. I kind of peeked on them midweek and saw that they were hanging out in their new bedding. And, you know, so I'm going to go ahead and feed them on the far end over here to get them out of the what's left of the old bedding so they can move on over. And then I can get rid of it. Uh, like I said a little bit ago, the outside critters I've been finding, some of them are not friendly critters. And I found some earwigs and a centipede, and I did get rid of them, but I kind of expected that possibly they may have damaged the worms. Obviously, you know, if things are there, they might be laying eggs, and so I wanted to get rid of as much of the old bedding as possible. So today... The Titans are going to get some of the signature goo. Here, let me move the camera over a little. So pureed coffee, bananas, apples. Those are some pumpkin seeds that went bad. You know, the edible kind, not just from like a pumpkin. So I'm going to put that over there. Coffee, the whole usual. I already put the eggshells in it. And I'm going to cover it up. Put the marker cardboard over there and that's going to be it for them but I don't see any evidence of uh, any of the pest species that I was worried about earlier the earwigs I, I, I don't know where they all came from they've all been living in this bedding for quite some time so I'm not really sure why they all of a sudden showed up. But whatever the reason was, I wanted to make sure that they weren't going to hurt the little wormies. Now I do still have some, let's move over here to the old end, and check, see who's still living in the old bedding. And we do still have a handful of them that are still living in that, but that might be because there wasn't any food in here and there was probably still some remnant food. Well, wiggle, wiggle. Look at you go. There was still some remnant food in this, and they didn't have other food. So I'm not sure if the outside pests killed those worms that I found that were dead, or if it was just old age. I mean, I think European nightcrawlers only live for a year or two. 
so I don't know what their problem was, but just to be safe, you know, you kind of get to be attached to these little guys, and especially when you've got a project going where you would like to see them get to be bigger. And this does seem to be one of my bigger titans. That's, that's a big worm. He's a big guy. Yes, you are being such a good guy on camera. Yes, you are. Look at you stretching out and being impressive. Yeah. Well, there you go. He's a very photogenic worm. Okay, well, that's it for the update today. Thank you for hanging out with me and my titans, and everybody have a good day.